what is the word everybody welcome back to the black in mexico podcast episode number three number three number three we are getting the ball rolling everything is flowing make sure y'all visit the black in mexico group on facebook if you haven't already joined it and make sure y'all visit back black in mexico.com the letter in mexico.com to get you a free relocation guide and also to be able to get on a free call with us and do a consultation but um today's topic that we bring into you is on the subject of protecting your cards up in mexico um this is a topic that i posted another video about and it got a bunch of feedback um uh, some people saying that that i was like essentially like trying to put down the servers and things by saying that um you don't give them your server but i was just telling most of the people what's reality here that they're bringing the card reader to you so that's what we're going to discuss today um i'll play y'all the video that i made once again and then uh, we'll jump into the topic about it we got ivan here as usual if you want to say what's up to him while i pull up this video how's it going everybody good evening once again i'm back with some extra food yeah so, sorry about that but i'm here we're ready to go over more information so that way you can protect yourself from mexico here with the cards protect and yourself the cards and make sure that you continue to have a great time <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right so this is the video right here look it's 150 on here it's at like eleven thousand on facebook uh i don't know how how y'all be working with these platforms but i appreciate y'all uh checking it out on whatever platforms make sure y'all come over to this youtube though black in mexico that's how it looks like but let's see if we can actually hear this video I couldn't hear it on my side again, but hopefully you could hear it on yours. It's playing on my end, but uh, we should have double checked it last recording. But <laughs> anyway, if y'all didn't hear it, once again, go over to the Black and Mexico uh, YouTube page and check it out. And um, you will actually see what I'm saying or hear what I'm saying. But yeah, let's dive into it because some people were saying that I was making a false statement and that's not true. Um, and then the other people was agreeing with me. Again, it's always people that just been here on a quick trip and they want to think they know everything about living here and argue with me. And most of the time it's a certain type of people, but I ain't even gonna get into that. But um, Ivan, you want to jump into the whole topic of protecting your car and yeah. and how you actually pay when you go places here yeah so first off i prefer paying in cash but there's a lot of places where you can use your debit card here or your credit card here in mexico now here's the thing anytime you get a bill you want to pay with the card they actually have um wireless wireless uh, terminals so They'll bring the waiter once once you're ready to pay, the waiter will bring a wireless terminal to your um they'll bring it to your table so that way they can charge you along with the uh tip if you're gonna tip. Uh the tipping situation is probably another video, but as far as as far as there you go. So that machine, they'll bring it to you. They'll type everything in. Don't leave your card with the waiter. It's not necessary. I wouldn't do it. The reason why is because they can skim your information just like anywhere else i mean even in the states you have big skimming operations you can go on youtube and see it at mcdonald's or at uh big clothing stores it happens heavily especially during the holiday season when they know that people come in with a lot of money to spend a lot of transactions but skimming 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 is a big thing worldwide and um people thought i was being disrespectful like i say by saying that don't give your card to the server but 
again, they're going to bring it to you. It's for your safety and for that established safety. I mean, they, they don't want a bad record of a, hey, when people come here, they get the information stolen. So they're going to ensure that their servers are actually doing the right thing as well and bringing it to you. And um, I also talked about, and I think I talked about it in the comments, but even if they don't bring you the reader to your table, like I remember at the Cerveceri in Cathero, the lady had me walk over there with her to the actual payment mm -hmm. reader. So they'll yeah. walk you to That's the right. reader to actually pay. Here, here's another thing to point out. Look, being in the United States, we have we have the convenience of having a bank close by and also getting a two day shipment. We don't have that here. So for example, I use my Navy Federal account. Um, and what happens is what like for example, it's happened to me like twice here. But the thing is, is they gotta send it to you, and it doesn't take two days to get here. <laughs> so if you get your card, um, if you get your card skimmed or you got some transactions that are unauthorized on there and you call that card in, they're gonna close it out. Um, how do I know that? Because I was a bank manager before, and on top of that, I worked at banks for a lot of years. And what happens is, as soon as you call it in and say there's a fraudulent transaction or a transaction you're not sure about, they close it out and they start reissuing another one. Thing is, we're in Mexico. Now, how long does it take to typically get here? It takes... I think it takes like a week and a half for it to get here. And that's what's like first class shipping type of thing. So just know that, that you got to protect your card, not just for the transactions, but if your card does get lost or if it gets stolen or if there's an authorized transaction and it gets closed out, just know that you're going to be waiting a minute for that debit card or credit card to get back to you. Just yep. be careful. You're going to be pissed. And then another person in the comments also recommended having more than one card, which I'm sure most people have nowadays, but that's a good topic to, to actually talk about, like just having more than one card. And most of the time, just use one specific card for when you're going out and doing those transactions. If you choose to use the card and not cash, that way you're not putting at risk your other payment cards. Like even me specifically, I use one card all the time as much as I can. And then, um, any anything else like that i have to pay for in the us or whatever i try to use a different card for another thing i mean will this happen maybe not but it's just another option um i remember when uh when i got my car lost and i would have to sell you money so that way that way um that way I, you can take money out for me for the atm and yeah. that, we did it for a little bit while my card got here yeah that's an, if you're coming with a friend, they have their card, something happens to yours, you can just sell, sell your friend some money and just take it out to the ATM. That'd be a real shitty exchange, but. <laughs> and but, that, uh, that's something we'll talk about on another video and we'll also hook you up with one of our affiliates to be able to get you a better exchange rate. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's another topic for another day. But yeah, do not give your card to the server and let them walk away with it. Uh, one guy was like, hey, I've been doing it for 10 years. I haven't had an issue, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's OK. That's all fine and dandy. But it, all it takes is one time and you're going to be pretty upset about the damage <laughs> that get done to you. Yeah, don't, don't don't give it to them. They got to look. You see that machine that's on the screen right there? They'll bring it to you. Not a big deal. Just have them bring it to you. Especially being white or or someone a black person, African American, however you want to go about that same thing. <laughs> Look, white for sure. The white white people, sure. y'all already know that y'all targets. I mean, they, we don't even have to discuss it. Y'all know it's in the movies. Dollar, too. dollar signs, <laughs> light, their eyes light up. So, <laughs> I mean, just be safe. What, why would you go? Why would you do that if there's no point to do that? This is an easy way to go about things. Soon. Why you do that? Why you do that? Why you do that? Uh, but yeah, guys, yeah. But yeah, that that's today's topic. I don't know if you want to tell them anything else about protecting the card out here or anything else they should know. I mean, it's a it's a short topic. It's yeah. Uh, so check it out. Again, I worked in banks for well over ten years, and here's one thing that I've learned when going on vacations. Alan mentioned having some extra cards. Here's one thing you can do to prepare yourself. Now, there's, like, for example, Chase had a liquid card, which is like a prepaid checking account, right? So you can have one of those, which only transfer what you need whenever you're going to use it to that card. You know, always use that card. Maybe Federal has prepaid accounts as well. 
uh, that you can get into. Um, they're free. They just, you just put money in them and use them whenever you need to. Um, I wouldn't recommend using any kind of other prepaid cards like the ones that you get from Walgreens or nothing like that. Make sure they won't even work internationally. Most yeah, of yeah, them. exactly. So just um, just look at your bank. They have they offer a lot of different options. Uh, just know that I, I believe with any Visa or Mastercard, it's zero liability. So if something happens, don't be alarmed. You'll get your money back. Uh, and uh, and I'm again. Uh, I, I worked at banks for well over ten years. If something okay. happens like that, uh, we're going to be able to help you out with that. Not doing that kind of stuff, but at least give you some guidance on how to go about it. Um, yeah, again, I worked at banks for a lot of years, so when it comes to that, uh, I can I can at least give you an idea. For sure. And if y'all got any questions like or surrounding the topic or any topics, or even if y'all want us to talk about specific talk topics, just feel free to reach out to us. And just let us know because we we want to address as many issues as we can address we want to give you guys as much knowledge to arm you with um before you move here as well so it's not all about um you guys paying us something i mean we're here to actually give you the information and if you do want some type of one-on-one -on -one coaching or you do want courses where we go in deeper then that stuff is there as well too but we're here for you guys all right yeah. That's all. That's the it. That's it for the day. Yeah. Cheers. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all for joining. We will be back on the next episode. I don't know what the next episode might be about. We definitely have different topics. We might talk about how you communicate here, like what apps to use. We might talk about payments. We might talk about a few different things, but just know it's all coming. Make sure y'all go to the YouTube, Black in Mexico um, on YouTube, the Black in Mexico group on Facebook. And then visit for the people that's listening, black, the letter in Mexico.com, because some people are, are joining audio. Not everybody's listening. I mean, watching the video, too. Mm -hmm. But um, appreciate y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all soon. All right.